good morning and welcome to today's video. Now I'm at Lynn Idwell today and it's looking very different from when I was here just before Christmas. But I've got a lot of blue skies which I am hoping that the clouds will roll in because in this environment things can change quickly and I'm only going to need that that one cloud and that one burst of light just to hopefully get a, a good image. So what I need to do, I need to get some elevation fairly quickly before this place gets filled up with tourists like me. <laughs> Well, if you guys are kind enough to watch a lot of my videos you'll you'll know that I'm visiting Snowdonia quite a lot now and it's just because of this rugged beauty that it has and I'm quite pleased to be out of the the very steep scramble and on something now that's a little bit more forgiving just to catch my breath and loosen up my muscles a little bit but now you can see the peak in the background there. So that's where I'm making my way to now, up that very steep and long path. But having said that, I would still rather do that than go back up to the glitters, up that scree like I did yesterday. I definitely need some recovery time before I attempt that again. Right, well let's get to the top and let's try and find a composition. Well I'm almost at the summit of a garn and I did notice that there was some really nice light over Trifan. It was, it was coming and going but when the light was there I thought it stood out to make a, a really nice image but typically as soon as I got the tripod set up and the camera on I lost the sun to a huge black cloud that was rolling over the top. I mean, I, I did actually take the image because I thought the cloud might actually add something to the frame or to the image, but um, without the light, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work. But I did take the image and I'll have a closer look at that when I get back home. But behind me, there was some really nice clouds just passing below the peak and they was single clouds. They wasn't like a, a long line just individual clouds and I thought that was a that was a nice feature to have in, a, in an image so I spun the camera around and my initial thought was to go in quite tight so I put the 70 to 200 on but now I'm actually out to 70 mil because I do actually like the way this yellow grass here on the side of the mountain is is framing the image and there is a huge bumblebee coming can you hear that? Don't make me... It's still there. That was big. And that followed me for a good minute. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Focal lengths. So yeah, <laughs> I think I um, I decided in the end to go to 70 mil because I really do like these yellows in the bottom of the frame here. I do think that adds something to the uh, to the image. So yeah, I stepped out to 70 mil and I've pressed the shutter button and I'm hoping that this is going to be a nice image. After being attacked by a bee, it wants to be. Now even though I won the fight with a bumblebee, I do feel that I lost the battle when it comes to this image. I like the composition 
and I do like the colors and the layers and I think the clouds in this image are a really nice touch but there is no substitution for good light and that is what is lacking in this image hence why it looks incredibly flat now I did try and play around with this in Lightroom by lifting the saturation a little bit of vibrance a little bit of clarity but it just didn't work and I was starting to worry that I was manipulating this image because I wanted it to work so much and so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna leave it almost as a raw file and put this in the memory banks and hopefully I'll get to return on a different day when the conditions are more favorable Well, I'm still not at the top, but I will get there. The only thing that's stopping me from getting to the top is just these amazing views. Um, now, where I am at the moment, you get to see, it'll probably be two lins and two tarns, or two lakes and two tarns. I don't know the correct terminology. Um, but there's obviously four bodies of water in this image. So that looks really nice. Now, the conditions that I've got, they could be better. And the reason that I thought I, was t I would take this shot now, rather than taking it when I got any higher, it started to become quite hazy down in the valley down there. And I don't know if that's gonna get worse or not. So I thought I will stop and I'll take this while I have the opportunity. Um, and I've gone quite wide. In fact, I've already taken this shot, so I can't actually remember the width but I did think I would need my 16 to 35 which I didn't bring today but the composition that I got fell well within the range of 24 to 70. Now even though the light was far from perfect at least I had some light and compared to the last image that was incredibly flat and dull and very 2D I think this is a huge improvement. I think the light was probably just a little too harsh, but overall I do like the contrast and the shadows. I also like the colours in this image, especially the browns from Penna Olwyn. Now even though I do like this composition, I do feel that I could have improved upon it. Had I have gone that little bit higher, I may have been able to achieve some separation between the Crag and Lynn Edwell. But what I really wanted was a close-up of Trifan because during the hike I kept on seeing Trifan come to life and then quickly disappear again. And so while I had the light and some concerns about the haze, I thought now is the time to focus on the ridge. Now, what I've done, I've also put the 70 to 200 back on because when I was a little bit further down, I was trying to get an image of Trifan from this elevation because the light just looks so good on it and it did from this elevation the light came back and flooded them crags and that, and that grassy mountain verge there and it just really brought it to life again typically like the mountains light changes so quickly so I've got the 70 to 200 on I've gone portrait I'm only about a hundred mil I suppose I've got a sneaky suspicion I could crop this image. I've got a little bit more in, uh, in this image than I actually want. Um, I've, got the, I've got Lynn Idwell in the bottom and I've got some of this crag here, which I don't know if I like or not, but I thought I'll go a little bit wider. If I like it, it can stay. If I don't like it, I'll crop it out. And that sun is just starting to come out from behind the clouds. So I will turn around and I'll grab this image. Well, I've decided if I'm going to crop this image, I'm better off cropping it in a landscape orientation rather than portrait. So I've just spun the camera around and it seems to have worked a lot better for me for what I've got in my mind. Straight away, I'm losing Lynn Idwell at the bottom of the frame, plus a, a small crag as well. 
um, and I'm getting more of Trifan's North Ridge in. Now I don't necessarily want all of Trifan's North Ridge, but what I'm thinking I can then crop from the left hand side of the frame, moving back towards the summit and just get that really nice ridge line that, that's really attracting me to this image all the way to the summit. So it is taking me an age to actually get to where I currently am, but that's just testimony to Snowdonia's amazing landscape. Now this was the shot that I was after. This was the shot that I kept seeing come and go, but every time I got the camera out, the light just disappeared. But finally, with the camera on the tripod, there was a nice burst of light that came through the clouds and just lit up this composition beautifully. I think the highlights and the shadows in this image work really well. And this is the kind of composition that I'm going to be looking out for more and more when I visit Snowdonia. I think I was also right to change the orientation of the camera and move from portrait over to landscape. Because when I was shooting in portrait, I had Idwell and a crag in the bottom of the frame, and that offered nothing to this image. So I thought, well, if it adds no value, then it has to go. And so that's why I cropped the image and just removed it. And so this image focuses purely on the grassy ridge with Trifan in the background. And it's an image that I'm really, really pleased with. And so all that's left for me to do now is to get to the summit of a garn and say thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you guys in a fortnight.